this video, we will create a new project. We will divide our work into different phases and then we will assign activities to each WBS. We have already studied WBS activities and much more in the previous lecture. A WBS or work breakdown structure in project management and engineering systems is a deliverable oriented breakdown of a project into smaller components. It is a key project deliverable that organizes the team's work into manageable sections. An activity is typically one stage of a project management plan. Each activity consists of one or more actions that upon completion will lead to the next project stage. Taken together as a series, the activities will result into the final deliverable. Each activity has a definite start and end date. So for this construction project, we will divide our work into following five phases. That is initiation, substructure, structure, electrical and sanitary work and finishing. We will then assign activities to each WBS. For example, for initiation, we will assign project starting date, mobilization, ground clearing and marking. And for the substructure phase, we will assign excavation, foundation, concreting, backfilling. And in the same sense, we will assign activities to other WBS. So let's start now. Now we will create a new project. Close the current project. Go to File, select New, click on these three dots. As it is our construction project, so select Engineering and Construction. Double click on it, select Next. Create a project ID. I will write 001 and the project name as House construction. Select next. Select a project planned starting date and a finishing date. Click on select. Select next. As the responsible manager for your project will be engineering and construction management, so leave it as E and C. Otherwise, you can change it by clicking here. Select next. Select the rate type. I will leave it as standard rate. Select next. Congratulations. Your project has been generated. So click on finish. To open the created project, go to file. Select open. Here your project is with the code as 001. Click on it. Select open. Now your project has been opened successfully. Create WBS. Go to project in the menu bar. Select WBS. Here you are. Select this one. Click on add. Do not change the WBS code. Select the WBS name. As we have already discussed, we will name it as Initiation. To create a new WBS, first click on this, then Add. Do not change the WBS code. Give it a name. Repeat the same method for each phase. Since all the WBS have been created, now we will assign activities to each WBS. For this purpose, go to Activities. If it is not displayed, go to Project, select Activities and the activities will be displayed. 
So for each WBS, assign activities. For example, for initiation, want to assign an activity that is project start. So click on the initiation WBS and click on add. Now do not disturb the activity ID. Just change the activity name as project start. And then click on finish. Now the activity for initiation has been assigned. Again click initiation and click on add. Change the activity ID. Just change the activity name. Similarly, create other activities by the same method. Now the activities for the initiation WBS have been created successfully. Similarly for substructure, click on it and to create activities, click on add. Do not change the activity ID and give it a name. Again click on substructure, click on add. Select another activity, click on finish and do the same method. Similarly for structure, I will create another activity. Click on structure. Click on add. Do not change the activity ID. For electrical and sanitary work, I will create the activities. So click on add, write the activity name, Now for finishing, click on finishing, click on add activity, select the activity name as wall designing, click on finish and generate other activities in the finishing phase by the same method.
Now all the activities for each WBS have been generated successfully. Check out that whether you have disturbed any activity code or not. If you have disturbed any activity ID, then delete it. For deleting, I will create an another incorrect activity and then I will tell you how to delete it. Click on finishing, click on add. Change the activity ID as incorrect and click on finish. Now you can see that the activity ID has been disturbed. So select the incorrect activity and press delete button or right click on it and delete it from here. The incorrect activity has been deleted successfully. To save your progress, the Primavera P6 Professional has an auto save capability. It saves your progress automatically, so you can close your project safely.